Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Sophie and I would love it if you click that big red subscribe button. Down below I talk about language learning a lot, I make travel videos, I also talk about uni life. So if you are interested in any of those types of videos, then definitely make sure to click that big red subscribe button down below and turn on that notification bell as well so that you never miss a video. Now this video is going to be um, language learning apps which I use and would recommend um, because it's been a while really since I've shared with you all like my language uh, like language resources that I use and tips for learning languages and I feel like these videos can be like quite helpful and I know people do ask me sometimes um, which apps I use so yeah that's what I'm going to do but first off um, just a disclaimer as I feel like I need to make this disclaimer um, you can't rely on one language app solely to learn a language you have to use loads of different methods uh, language learning apps are good because obviously you have them on your phone you can use them whenever you know you could just be on the bus or the train to work and you got a bit of time spare and you could learn languages like that um, I think it's really good as well for like yeah if you've just got like five minutes spare and you want to do something productive but obviously you're not going to sit and go through a grammar book <laughs> in five minutes or something um, so yeah that's what I will say also as I am a student I haven't tried out the premium versions of all of these apps just because being a student and not having like a full-time job or like a even a part-time job with a monthly income you know um i can't afford to have all these different premium subscriptions um yeah so i can't tell you about the premium versions of all of these apps um all of these apps are going to be apps that do have a free um version and that will be the version that I will have tried out um, just because I know I know you get like the premium trials but I know for a fact that I will sign up for like a seven day or a month premium trial and forget to cancel even if I want to cancel like even if I don't like it I'll still forget to cancel and then I'll be looking at my bank account like where has all this money gone like so yeah um personally that's me but i mean if you are you know if you know that you will definitely remember to cancel then obviously you might want to try premium versions of these apps um i mean you might not want to cancel if you like them um but yeah um i'm gonna stop waffling on and without further ado let's get into the video so first of all i want to talk about apps which will help you with your speaking skills as that's a question I get asked a lot and also personally I feel like you know you can't learn a language without speaking it like if you just <laughs> I don't even think that's a personal thing I just think that's true you can't learn a language without speaking it these apps that I use are to find p native speakers who are learning your language um, a language which you speak so you can speak to them and help them and they can help you. So basically to find a tandem partner. And there are two apps that I know of and have used for this. The first one being Hello Talk and the second one being Tandem. I think Hello Talk is the most, most popular because that's the one I've heard about the most on YouTube and that is the one that I have seen. I think it's been around for the longest, but I could be wrong. But personally, I prefer Tandem just because you get more for free. Uh, Hello Talk, you can only put one language in, so um, yeah, with the free feature, and apparently you can't actually make video calls with the free feature, which is quite annoying, um, and I get why, you might have to have the premium feature for that, but at the same time I'm like, on Tandem I can have video calls, and I can put that I'm learning multiple languages and speak to people learning multiple languages on the free feature. So obviously with my budget, oh my, like why would I pick Hello Talk over Tandem for that reason? Maybe there is something, you know, that Hello Talk has that Tandem hasn't got that I'm just missing, but I get more for free on Tandem. So I'm obviously always gonna use Tandem because I've got to think about that student budget, right? And, um, 
you might be a bit worried about these apps because you are talking to strangers that you don't know but um, if you have a video call with someone on Tandem I know you can leave them a review afterwards I think it's kind of the same with Hello Talk, but like I said I can't have a video call I think you can have a phone call but I haven't tried it I just use Hello Talk for French and to be fair it's quite nice that I can only have one language on Hello Talk because I know that if I you know I just want to practice my French I can go to Hello Talk and I can do that but if I just want to practice like my Spanish and I go on tandem, I might get people messaging me who are learning English and speak German because <laughs> that, um, it's in my profile that I'm also learning German, you know? Um, but overall, like I prefer tandem because I can practice all of my languages. I've been using it for longer, so I'm more familiar with the app, its interface, how it works. Um, and yeah, I did, do a whole review on Tandem and I just want to say in that review I said that I didn't like that I had like this overload of messages but I have since seen, I don't know if it was always there and I couldn't see it or if it's a new feature that you can actually say that you're you're offline and then if you are offline like your profile won't really like show up I don't think no it won't show up to other people looking for someone to speak other users looking for someone to speak with too so yeah, you might still get some messages come through, but it's going to be from people you've already been having a conversation with. So you can kind of just focus on the conversations you're having, um, which is what I didn't like about it before. But now I've realised that you can do that. So there's no reason for me not to like it really now. other than, But just be careful because obviously you are talking to strangers off the internet, but most people are nice over there. I think I had one person tell me they were looking for an English girlfriend once and I was like, nope. No, this is not a dating app, not what I want, bye bye. And another app which connects you with native speakers, which I've started using about three weeks ago, maybe a month ago now. Oh my God, that wind, I'm sorry, is <laughs> High Native. And this isn't one for like speaking, having video calls with natives, it's for asking natives questions. So it's kind of like a little forum, which is nice. Um, because sometimes you just want to ask a native a question like sometimes there's words that are quite similar or phrases that are quite similar and I like in French or German and I just don't know when to use which one like which circumstances would I use each word in and, and then I can turn to high native and I can ask and I know someone will get back to me um, the only thing is is I can only have one language on my profile as with the free version so yeah that's the only thing there like you can only have one language um so if you like learning more than one language and you want to um obviously ask questions about all of those languages you have to pay for the premium feature um that's the only downside but and um, they also have this live stream feature which um i do live stream on there sometimes so if you download the app, definitely give me a follow um, because then you'll get notified when I live stream. Um, and I've been enjoying live streaming on there because if I joined the app and knew nobody and like had no followers and just live streamed and people were joining, like I feel like if I live stream on YouTube and I had no subscribers, no one would join my live stream. So, but yeah, on there people people join it, which is which is nice and. Um, Sometimes people join who speak other languages and because it's a language learning app I get to briefly switch into Spanish or switch into German, which is nice. Um, I enjoy that and I like it when they uh, reply back in that, in that language. Obviously sometimes they don't because if they're on that app they're probably there to learn a language so they might be on my live stream because they see I'm English and they want to learn English. <laughs> um, but yeah. Anyway, time to move on to another app. I don't know what this is all about, what I'm doing here, but yeah. Okay, so these next apps that I use are for learning vocabulary. The first one is Memrise, which I feel like is quite an, an old school one for me because I started using Memrise when I was doing A-level German, so I would have been 16 years old. I'm now 24 when I started using Memrise. And it's something that I've kind of used a lot and then stopped using and then come back to and stopped using and then come back to again um which is just crazy but um, i do like it a lot 
Um, if I'm putting up my own type input in my own vo vocab list, I will use Anki and I'll use the version on the com on my laptop. I don't have the version for your phone because I think you have to pay for that. But memorize. I just love the when I just want to practice vocabulary, but I don't. You know, I don't have a specific list in line in mind, and they have like some idiomatic phrases on there. You can learn idioms as well. And they have their own courses, and I like when they have the bit where they're like, they actually went around and like filmed a bunch of. Oh my god, this wind! I've picked the worst day to film a video, but I don't want to do it during the week because I've put we've put in a maintenance request, and I know maintenance are gonna come like on Monday and then I don't know how long it's going to take them to fit so what if they have to come back on Tuesday and maintenance will be even noisier <laughs> but yeah anyway what was I saying um I yeah I like how um you can actually see native speak little videos of native speakers saying these idiomatic phrases and um yeah that's quite helpful obviously I don't believe in just repeating phrases learning phrases and repeating them um other than with idioms because that you kind of just have to do that because they don't make sense um but i do like the phrases on the other ones that aren't just idiomatic as well because it shows you the style like that like they have some if um sentences on there and you can kind of just see the pattern of how those if sentences are formed so it kind of reinforces the grammar without going through a grammar book but obviously it's good to go through a grammar book as well but it does reinforce it a bit and yeah i do quite enjoy memorize <laughs> Another app that I use for vocabulary that, to be honest, I've forgotten about recently and this video has made me suddenly think of, so maybe I'll go back to it, is Drops. And that is literally just with vocabulary, really, not phrases. Um, I mean, I think there's some phrases in there, like un coup de, de foudre, which I think means love at first sight. But I think it can also mean like a bolt of lightning. Um... But, you know, that was also in Emily Paris, so I may have just learned it from there. Um, but, um, yeah. It's more just for vocabulary, and it's just like five minutes a day. So, you know, you definitely need to use more than just drops, but it is nice sometimes, you know, I've got five minutes to spare. I want to do something. I know it'll take me a lot longer to get through my list on Anki, and um, drops is just on my phone. I can click on the language and just, yeah, learn a bunch of new words. Um, and it's definitely, I would say, very good for beginners because you know a lot of those words are like simple everyday words but they do have different categories and stuff and even as an advanced speaker i have learned new words on this app and you know sometimes as an advanced speaker who studies languages at university i don't know a lot of the basic words because you know we have a lot of debates on difficult topics we don't necessarily talk about household items or you know things that you find in the kitchen <laughs> and you know when you do go to the country you might need to know the words for those things so yeah, I say the country, like there's just one country that speaks the language that you're learning. I mean, I mean a country where they speak, yeah, the language that you're learning. It might be useful to know those words. So yeah, Drops is quite nice just for learning words that I wouldn't learn at university. Um, yeah. Okay, so the next app that I want to talk about, I don't really know which category it falls into. I mean, I can learn new vocabulary from it, so maybe I'll just to get in the vocabulary section i don't know it's just its own section and that is lyrics training i have spoken about lyrics training a lot on my channel before um because i've been using it again since i first started learning german at a level um i absolutely love it it's also how i find new music in uh, well one of the ways i find new music in the languages which i'm studying also spotify is a great help for that <laughs> because yeah it's quite you know with all their discover new music playlists and stuff um <laughs> But lyrics training I absolutely love because it's just a fun little task and really practices your listening skills but also at the same time you know opens you up to new grammar, uh, new grammar, new vocabulary because you are literally listening to songs and filling in the gaps um, and you know there may be words that you haven't seen before um, in the lyrics to these songs and it's just fun. Um, if I remember correctly on the app I think you can only do like three songs a day without the premium version but you can also access it on your laptop so I do usually like access it on my laptop because then I don't I can do it for as long as I like but sometimes 
I will just use the app if I'm just laying in bed at night and I'm like, oh, I haven't used lyrics training in a while. I feel like listening to some songs in another language, but also having a bit of game to, a bit of a game to get me thinking. Uh, get me, so yeah, I, I do like lyrics training a lot. And like I've said, I've found a lot of new songs that I've liked, that I like in other languages through the lyrics training app as well. Another app which I use, which I guess is for vocabulary and grammar. When I downloaded it, I downloaded it because another YouTuber, I think it was, yeah, it was Lindy Botes was talking about it and she said that she used it for grammar, so I downloaded it. But I felt like it helped me with vocab as well because it is kind of like you're filling in the gaps it's closed master and you have these sentences and you have a gap to fill in and then you have multiple choice and you know sometimes it does test you you know it is testing you on your grammar because you're like well filling in the right version I don't know the adjective or something but I think there are grammar sections on there but I just do the <laughs> overall section um just yeah test you on your grammar I guess because you're seeing like the structures of how sentences are structured but also new words because I have to fill in the correct words sometimes and you can see the English underneath like what you're meant to be saying in English but yeah sometimes I, <laughs> I don't know the words or and sometimes they are just kind of like more short idiomatic phrases that you probably will hear native speakers use um a lot and again this video has reminded me that I haven't used that app in a while so I'll probably be jumping onto that app at some point today um, because I do find that quite helpful. So this next app I love but is only for German so if you're not learning German please skip to the next section of this video I don't want to bore you I mean you can listen to this section still if you want if you just enjoy listening to me talk um, but yeah if not I mean there'll be timestamps so you can just skip the next um, app is useful for many different languages but this app is just for German but I love it it's so good it's Deutsch Perfekt Trainer it was actually recommended to me by one of uh, my old lecturers um, when I was doing my dissertation um, for grammar but as well as grammar there's like speaking on there there's reading there's listening and um, if you are doing you know a reading section they'll show you some new words that would be useful for that um, activity first like some vocabulary first so you're always learning vocabulary as well same with listening you know well you're learning vocabulary no matter what you're really learning on there whether you're specifically going on there to practice grammar or whatever reading you will learn vocabulary um and you kind of get like i think it's like five different topics pop up and you can choose to do them, you can choose to do them again afterwards, or you can just swipe them away and another one will appear if, you know, none of these topics you find interesting or they're not things that you feel like you need to work on. I wonder if, I'm not sure if they come back after a while if you've done everything, because I definitely haven't done everything. Um, but like some of them I'll swipe away because some of them will say they're easy and I'll just swipe them away if they're easy because I'm like, no, I need a challenge. But I haven't actually seen anything that says like, schwierig, difficult, it's all leicht, or I think it's like mittel, like medium, I can't remember. Again, it's been a while since I've used this app and like looking through the apps that I have on my phone and thinking about which ones I do use in order to film this video has reminded me that I need to use that app because it definitely does help. Um, yeah, I will also be using the app very soon. <laughs> Okay, so those are all the apps which I feel like you can get a lot out of just with the free versions. There are other apps which, you know, I've tried using before and then, you know, you have the free version but it literally only just lets you do like the beginner stuff and then you have to pay to do like the advanced stuff. And that always annoys me because I'm like, I get why they do it but at the same time, I am an advanced learner in all of my languages so I can't actually test out if it's good or not from doing the beginners section you know I would prefer let me pick any one thing from your app try that and then then I can actually make an informed decision whether I want to pay for the app but I can't afford to pay for any language apps at the moment anyway uh, but yeah that's all of the like kind of free apps that I use um, I'm sure there are more out there that I haven't um, just haven't used haven't really discovered um, so comment down below in the in the comment section what 
uh, which app is your favourite um, language learning app because yeah maybe I need to go try that app and also it can help other people out who yeah are watching this video um, but that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed it um, please give it a big thumbs up if you do and subscribe to my channel because I do make language learning like tip videos sometimes and study videos <laughs> um i mean my my entire degree is about learning languages so <laughs> yeah and um i'll see you in the next video bye I just need to tell